This is just a quick little video to demonstrate uh, Lagrange multipliers. Um, I've actually solved the same problem using Calc 1, and you can go ahead and check that out. The video is up on YouTube. So the Postal Service will accept packages only if the length of the girth is the length plus the girth is no more than 240 inches. The girth is the distance around the end plus the length. Now, assuming the front face of the package is square, what is the largest volume they'll accept? So based on our drawing, no, so we get to make this square. So x plus x plus x plus x, so 4x plus l is going to be 240. And the volume of this package will be x squared times l. So we want to maximize this subject to this constraint. So let's call this guy g of x comma l here. And that'll be v of xl. And so using um, Lagrange multipliers, we need our partials, so v sub x will be 2xl, v sub l will be x squared, g sub x will be 4, and g sub l will be 1. So taking the partials of that with respect to x and with respect to l. So our system, we're going to have 2xl equals lambda times 4. Uh, let's write it as 4 lambda and we have x squared equals 1 times lambda or lambda. So we actually already have lambda in this one, which makes it a little bit easier for us. And our final constraint is that we know that 4x plus l must equal 240. A lot of different ways we can solve this, but this guy's already solved for lambda, so let's just uh, plug that in there and see what happens. Uh, we have 2xl equals 4x squared. So let's divide both sides by a 2x. That does eliminate our answer of 0, but then we wouldn't have a box, so we're not too worried about it. That gets rid of that, and this will become a 2. So what we get is that L equals 2x. So let's sub that into our constraint. So 4x plus 2x equals 240. So we get 6x equals 240, or dividing we get x equals 40. We also know that L is double x, so that means L has to equal 80. And then the volume of such a box is going to be 40 squared times 80, which is equal to 128,000 cubic inches. So, again, a quick problem with Lagrange multipliers, just to kind of see the technique.